Do you need some good news in your life? Hmm? A little sunshine to brighten up those cloudy gray days? Well, then do I have a story for you. One day, a few New York doctors at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center had an idea, and they wanted to organize an experimental study. Now, the funding they received was so teeny tiny that the study only included 12 patients, and they were all recently diagnosed with colorectal cancer, which is the second most common cause of cancer deaths in the U.S. this year. All 12 of them were in stage two or three of the disease. All 12 had yet to try chemo or surgery, and the cancer they did have had not yet spread to other organs. It's also super important to note that all 12 had tumors with a specific genetic mutation. It's called mismatch repair deficiency, or MMRD tumors. These guys are quite resistant to chemo and radiation. The experiment rested on a drug called Dostarlimab. Doctors have used it before to treat other cancers, but never rectal cancer. This drug is a type of drug called an immune checkpoint inhibitor. And instead of going ahead and like killing the cancer cells itself, this drug, this little nifty little guy, he goes into the body, he identifies and unmasks cancer cells, Scooby-Doo style, and then binds to it and helps the body's own immune system attack those cells efficiently. So the 12 patients, they received an infusion of dostarlimab once every three weeks for six months. This treatment, and this is super important, was supposed to be followed up with chemotherapy and surgery for the participants. But let me tell you something amazing. Not one of the 12 patients needed it. Six months after beginning the drug, all 12 were in complete remission, with nary a tumor being detected from any of them. And not one patient relapsed during the follow-up period, which was up to two years. Best of all, the 12 who were preparing for these life-changing procedures, if this didn't work, had virtually zero complications or side effects. You just don't hear this. 100% rate of cancer remission, it's unheard of. Quote, I believe this is the first time this has happened in the history of cancer, said medical oncologist Louis Diaz Jr. The co-author of the paper, Dr. Andrea Sersik, added the experiment resulted in, quote, a lot of happy tears. Now, the British pharmaceutical company GlaxoSmithKline will be expanding the budget and the study to include more patients and to see if the results can be replicated. But it does offer us a light at the end of a very, very long tunnel. Now you know.